Welcome back to The Exchange, where we're watching as the former president has arrived at a Miami courthouse for his arraignment. Eamon Javers standing by in Washington. Eamon? Kelly, what we've uh, just witnessed here is the former president of the United States arriving for his arraignment at federal court in Miami. Uh, one interesting item that we're learning as the president's motorcade was making its way to the courthouse here uh, is that in the vehicles with him, we are told, uh, was Walt Nauta. That, remember, that is the former president's co-defendant in this case. He's the former president's uh, valet, a former Navy valet in the White House who then traveled to Mar-a-Lago in the private sector and worked for the former president at Mar-a-Lago. Walt Nauta himself uh, is charged with crimes here uh, in this case, is a co-defendant in this case, and allegedly was the person who moved the boxes of classified documents around at allegedly the former president's direction uh, to evade detection by, by lawyers and others who were trying to figure out exactly what was in the former president's possession. That's interesting and significant because uh, presumably prosecutors would like to break Walt Nauta's uh, allegiance to Donald Trump and flip him as somebody who could be a witness against the former president of the United States. He's a very, very junior figure here, uh, given a, a point of prestige, you would say, in being able to ride in the motorcade with the former president, maybe a signal from the former president to prosecutors that now is still on his side. Uh, that's something that might work to the former president's advantage is if he can keep that relationship strong and keep Nauta from flipping on him and providing evidence to prosecutors of exactly what the former president told him to do with those classified documents. That's at the heart of this case here, Kelly. I'm reading the coverage, uh, Eamon, where the journal reports that the atmosphere outside the courthouse has been, uh, you know, sometimes tense as demonstrators exchange profane chants. And at one point, authorities and bomb squad vests were seen near the building. Yeah, this, you know, these things in the modern media age have become a bit of a circus, right? I mean, it's become a platform for people to express all kinds of views, pro and con, and, and everything in between. Uh, what you worry about here in the wake of January 6th, of course, is, uh, you know, any intentional uh, use of political violence by people who are supporters of the former president of the United States trying to disrupt this proceeding in some way. So far, we don't see any indication of that. Um, but, you know, as you can see, law enforcement uh, is there uh, on a very high security alert. Uh, the Secret Service is obviously with the former president to protect him. Uh, and let's hope everything goes well. All right. Amen for now. Thank you. Our Amen Jabbers will continue to follow the story.